most of these up until we get to the cash area. So we have to do the sales budget first. Once we have the sales budget, we know what we're going to produce. Then we do the production budget. Then we can do the direct materials budget, the direct labor budget, and the overhead budget, as well as the capital expenditure could be done at this time and the selling and administrative. And then we can take a look at the cash budget. So this is where we're at at this point. We're taking a look at the cash budget. We're going to be bouncing back to some of these budgets we've done prior in order to compile the cash budget. Then we can take a look at the balance sheet budget, the income state budget, and the statement of cash flows after that point. And that's what we'll do next time. So just to recap, we have the sales budget. All these budgets, by the way, are ones that we're going to come back to and we're going to pull numbers from these budgets. So we're going to be bouncing back from the cash budget to these budgets in order to compile the cash budget. So we started off in part one, we had the sales budget. Then we had the production budget. And then we went to the raw materials budget, the direct labor budget. And then we had the factory overhead budget, step five, the selling expense budget, step six, and the general administrative Step seven, we're going to be using these numbers for the cash budget.